Good morning. I'm Michael Bender from the Center for Fiscal Equity. These are our comments um, for the Social Security uh, Subcommittee of Ways and Means um, for May 17th. They greatly mirror um, and are almost identical to the Finance Committee hearings on Social Security during COVID um, from April of 2021. So um, there's a lot that, that has changed and a lot that hasn't. Uh, so let me add in 2022 that much of our current price inflation is due to Mr. Mulvaney's deregulation of the, of the NYMEX oil futures floor uh, when he stationed himself as the director of the Consumer Financial Protection Authority. Uh, the futures market is now out of control and inflation with it. Uh, at some point it will crash and it will take the economy with it. Um, so, you know, don't blame the war in Ukraine or the supply chain issues. There's no supply chain issues for oil. Um, you pull up the, the tanker, you plug it in, and you fill it up. Uh, there's no there's no line of tankers waiting to disgorge. So um, it's all about the futures. Um, I will allow the to schedule witnesses to deliver the problems and success stories regarding service delivery, which um, I ex expect will greatly resemble conditions which occur at every driver's license renewal office in the nation, although I will draw upon that parallel. Um, you know, if you if you live in Virginia and you want your license, don't go on a Saturday. Um, there are more urgent matters, aka bigger fish to fry, on how Social Security is responding to the pandemic and to the current inflation. Um, my driver's license expired in November 2020. It was disconcerting to need an appointment to get one. Because of the pandemic, it was no problem um, with it expiring in, in, in the meantime. Of course, I don't drive anyway, so it's no big deal. Um, years before, a new license renewal meant almost an hour waiting for my number to be called. When pre-pandemic, I was applying for temporary disability and had to get a new card because of a new job, the lines were worse than at the DMV. Again, this is a social security. Uh, this time, there was very little waiting while my number was called to, to get a license. I imagine that my social security office has done the same things to cope with COVID. At least I hope so. We need to preserve these lessons and create a new normal. Money will be an issue. We need more social security offices and maybe because they have similar functions, cooperation with the DMV might be in order. Uh, since both are, you know, now learning customer service in a new way. It would require cross-training uh, citizen service workers, but that just means that we would have to pay them more and hire more of them. Uh, just a straight thought there as a former bureaucrat. But more importantly, building more offices for both DMV and Social Security will take money and it should not require higher driver's license fees or take away from the pool of money used for benefits. Social Security has low administrative costs. It should not have any. The general fund already owes trillions of dollars to the Social Security Trust Fund. Preserve the trust fund a bit more and use general revenues now to fund administration. Improvements and more office space. Uh, as the pandemic wanes, and it's pretty much waned now, uh, caution will still be necessary for a while. Uh, it, is, it is time to build some infrastructure out in both government and in leased space. Now for the bigger fish. In the last um, year, two and a half years, I can no longer afford big fish. My SSDI was inadequate for food, medicine, clothing, and cable. If I owned a vehicle, there is no way I could maintain it or even buy gas. I have an above average benefit, high enough to be ineligible for SNAP or Medicaid, although that actually might be changing, which is not really good news. Uh, many are not so lucky even on a good day. Uh, in the last few months, days have not been so good. Uh, were it not for stimulus payments, I would, I would have run out of food as I wrote this in, in, um, in 2021 and would have not bought new clothes, like this jacket, uh, for when the, when the committee actually identifies or asks me to testify in person. Uh, rather than submitting comments for the record. Uh, but while I have IFY, uh, I cannot afford cable and a car is still out of reach. So I've got the driver's license, but nothing to drive. Uh, let me underline a point. In most months, new underwear is not an option. Um, I rely on free bus rides due to the pandemic and 
and to generous policies by, by Montgomery County and subsidies from right on. And there is never enough money in the last week before the check comes. Uh, and when it does arrive, the cupboard is often bare. Let me bold and underline, food prices are still skyrocketing. Part of the problem may be too much money chasing too few goods, but retirees and the disabled find ourselves between a rock and a hard place. We don't need stimulus money, we need a cola. We don't need a cola next year. We are thirsty now, or rather hungry. Please address this. Don't hold hearings, just pass it. Pass that cola for, for, for July 1st. Um, you know, we need the money, um, pass it so we can afford cola. So um, thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope I have added both um, management and personal experience uh, to the debate that probably wouldn't otherwise be there. So um, again, thank you for your time.